Are you ready to learn how to create time-lapse videos just like this one right here? Well, stick around because I'm gonna be showing you how I made that video that you just watched on your iPhone. So stay tuned. going on my name is Simone Redmond I'm an online video strategist and YouTube specialist so in this video I'm going to be showing you how I was able to create a time-lapse video while I was on a mini vacation to my hometown of Nashville Tennessee and show you how to do this all on your iPhone so here we go all right so I'm going to show you how I create time-lapse videos just like the one that you saw at the beginning of this video so I have all of my apps categorized as you see I have a ton uh, photography apps because of course being on YouTube you basically need some of this stuff right so my camera is here so I'm gonna go there and as you see this is the computer and everything that we're doing over here haha ha, that's so cool so I'm gonna do like a time lapse of my backyard and across the across the yard the neighbors so I'm gonna use this little dial as you see it's moving over there by the the camera button so you have panoramic you have square portrait photo video slow-mo time lapse okay that is what we want so now i'm just going to press this button and as you see it's moving it's circling so if i want to do like this you want to move slowly because if you move slowly then that makes it look, you know, really well in the playback. So say if we wanted to go up, you want to move this as slow as you can and try to be steady. And as you see, it's not going to be really steady because I'm not using like a tripod. This is actually my actual hands and I'm not going to lie to you, my hands are hurting, right? So we're going to go ahead and stop this now. And then I'm going to show you the playback in just a few moments. So here's some tips that you need to know when it comes to creating time-lapse videos on your iPhone. So according to Apple's website, the number of frames captured per second is relative to the time that you're recording for. So here's the thing, most time-lapse videos actually play back between 20 to 40 seconds no matter how long you are recording your video for. So it all has to do with the frames per second every time that you are recording a video. If you have a time-lapse video and you record it for less than 10 minutes, you're actually shooting at two frames per second. So when you're playing that back, it's actually speeded up 15 times. So that means you're actually getting 30 frames per second when you are watching that time-lapse video in real time. So if you're shooting video for more than 10 minutes, when it comes to doing time-lapse videos, you're actually shooting at one frame per second. So when it's played back in real time, you're actually speeding up your video 30 times, which will equal 30 frames per second, just as if you were recording it for less than 10 minutes. So here are some more tips that can help you when it comes to creating your time-lapse video on, on your iPhone. Number one, keep your phone still. The more still that your phone is, the better your time-lapse video is going to be. Because the more that you kind of have it like shaky, when you watch it back, it's gonna be like real, real shaky, right? And you do not want that. So the best thing is that if you are using it, just try to use a tripod. Um, I know recording long videos does actually make your hands hurt and your arms hurt. I did create a time-lapse video when I was going up and down Mount Eagle Mountain in Mount Eagle, Tennessee, and my hands were hurting so freaking bad. So I've learned if I'm going to do a time-lapse video, I need to go ahead and have a tripod. Number two, you want to make sure that you capture contrasting things. So when I say contrasting things, I mean that you want to make sure that you are still, but you're watching things moving. So like traffic moving or people walking. Try to do timeless videos that kind of contrast that to really make it look amazing to people who actually want to see your time-lapse videos. Number three is to record movement. Now, I want you to understand this, that if you're going to be recording movement, 
for your time-lapse videos the key to this is to move slowly now I was trying it out and I was kind of working and experimenting with the time lapse and when I moved fast and played it back it just ran through so fast like I didn't even see it so if you are moving you have to move slow and as you see how I'm moving slow just like this or whatever you're gonna do just make sure that you're moving slow so that when you does play back it looks normal all right and here's an example of me doing that Number four is that you wanna keep an eye on your battery life. When it comes to creating time-lapse videos, it does not take a lot of memory, but it will take a lot of battery. So I wanna make sure that your phone is fully charged or charged to its full capacity if you can before you decide to do a time-lapse video. I did notice when I did my own time-lapse video, my battery did drain faster than what I wanted it to. So make sure that you do have a full charge when you are creating your time-lapse videos. All right, so now that you have these tips, I hope that this has helped you when it comes to learning how to create time-lapse videos and learn how to do them to make them better. So as a free gift from me to you, I'm actually gonna include my time-lapse video of me going up and down Mont Eagle Mountain in Mont Eagle, Tennessee. And I will talk to you all very, very soon.